This is the Earth Science Classroom. Welcome back. This is a video demo of convection currents. And I'm demonstrating uh, what I did in class um, with my students to introduce convection currents. So equipment wise, I just used two textbooks on either side to make a little, uh, little higher platform. And I used a two liter uh, soda bottle that I emptied out and just added some water. And um, once the water's in, I leave a little gap for some air and I add some rheoscopic fluid that I bought off Amazon from a uh, science gentleman. And I recommend it. Uh, came in two days and it's fantastic. What I'm doing here is I'm just uh, adding the fluid to the water to make the water more visible to the students. So when you are uh, showing convection currents, you want the water to be visible. So you add some um, materials or liquid fluids into the water to make it uh, so you can see it as it moves. So that was the rheoscopic fluid. And then I add, as you can see, I add um, some nice food coloring, make it more visible, basically. Light the candles, get some uh, thermal energy going, the heat source. Then you just make sure the uh, distance is good. So when you lay the bottle horizontally, it's not going to fall down and affect the uh, the candles anyway. And uh, make sure that you're not really um, making sure that the fluid is in a nice uh, solution. And what should happen is you should start seeing some movement. When the water is uh, right above the, uh, the thermal energy, you can start to see the uh, movement of the water. So I'm not going to explain convection currents uh, in this demonstration, but this is what I did to then go into uh, convection currents as a process, as a thermodynamic process. And I use the flashlight, or, or, or better, it's the flashlight on the cell phone or the mobile phone to shine through the water to make it more visible. And the students can actually see the water rising above the candle and moving sideways or horizontally or laterally. Uh, once it hits the top of the uh, the, the bottle and you have that uh, continuation of movement through heat and cold areas and it's going to form a nice cycle or convection current between the transfer of heat. And I can turn the, the lights off like I did to give uh, a more clearer picture inside the bottle for the students or have the lights on and use a flashlight either way, whatever you feel is necessary to show the convection within the water bottle. So again, you should see convection in this water bottle. It's a very quick and easy uh, demonstration, and it's good because this lays the foundation for the Earth's interior, and you can also do it again, and lays the foundation for the atmospheric processes within the troposphere. This is the Earth Science Classroom. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the content. Check out more videos on our channel, and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you again.